I'm Chloe. I'm Julia. I'm Chantal. And I'm Angelique. And we are Growing, Growing Up, Up Without, Without Borders. Borders. And today we're visiting Split, Croatia. If you remember our video from Bosnia, you would remember that we couldn't get through the border because of the car rental company not giving us the proper paperwork. So we were very nervous driving to get to Split because to get there from Montenegro, you have to pass this little tiny piece of land, which is going back into Bosnia. Okay, so we got to the border. They didn't even check our passports to get into Bosnia. We are in Bosnia. This saves us two and a half hours. Now we're going to get there by uh, daylight. We're going to be able to show you the coolest place that we're checking into. And it's really exciting because we thought we were going to be rejected at the border because of what happened to us last time. So, hallelujah. Yay. Girls, you know what that means? What? That means that we can like check in at a normal time and I'm it's going to be daylight. Most Exactly. So they're like, just go through. So this they know most people here are going through. The bridge. So they're going to build a bridge. So eventually it'll be faster and you won't have to go through this little chunk of Bosnia to get in and out of Croatia. Or basically. they should just join the EU. And then they yeah, but Bosnia is like one of these funny countries that's, you know, somebody said like no one really is um, like there's no tax, first of all. So how do they keep the infrastructure and things in place that I'm not sure. Um, or no TVA, which is like a sales tax, right? Then they're kind of a country that is apparently supported by other people. So they're just like a country that is essentially supported by, I don't know which countries. So, yeah. <laughs> The side of the road, they sell all these different things. So you got olive oils, honey, marmalades, oranges, syrups. It's just amazing, and all these fresh fruits and vegetables. Look at that. This is super popular here. It's like I think with peppers, and I'm not sure exactly, but we're gonna try some, and uh, you can put it on. I have no idea. I'm gonna Google it, but I'm believing on bread and make it almost like a tartine. Maybe grill it. I don't know. Or sp ah, you can put it on pasta. Mmm. <gasps> let's get some. Okay, here we are checking in to our place for the next couple nights. I wish we could stay longer, but we're gonna do two nights here, so we'll be here two nights in Spain which is technically enough to see everything because where we are is literally 10 minutes walking distance to the old town. We can see the port out the windows and we're staying in this beautiful home. So Riva Dalmatia has basically four different properties, one on the island, which we're gonna be going to next. So, and they thought of everything in this house. So the whole area is beautiful. It's a smart TV, but not just a smart TV, the whole house is smart. So you can like control everything with your remote control, it's really cool. Or your iPad, whatever. They thought of everything too. They put nice welcome drinks in there for us. It has a super nice coffee maker. Milk frother. A milk frother, always important. But let's show you the rooms, come on. So this, a little bathroom here. This is a beautiful bedroom, number one. Okay, this is so cool. You can literally turn music on or off in the bedroom. So if you like press for music. So here is the bathroom and they have really nice 
products. It's all the Octane products, you guys. Like, beautiful products. Can't wait to use them. Why don't you show us how it works? So you control control everything off of this little tablet, which is cool. Like, okay, let's see. So you can control the TV. Uh huh. And. Watch your in heaven. Let me do the lighting this side because it's easier. So you can turn on and off lights. Yeah. So you can go to. AC. The kitchen lights, and you can turn off all lights in kitchen. Or anything. Would you like to have a house like that? Isn't that yes. cool? <laughs> so look at that, it's fully set up. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it's just amazing because look at the view. Literally, oh my goodness. Look at this. It's just unreal. There's the old town of Split. I can't wait to show you guys around this city. So we were here already back in 2014, but we're seeing it from a different perspective. The girls can now um, remember because they were quite young, so they don't remember everything. And most importantly, we get to show you guys what it's going to be like. So it's going to be fun. So the ferry is literally just across the way, which we'll be taking in a couple days to leave here to go to the island. Here's a perfect map to show you split. So basically we're staying right over here. It's literally only a 10 minute walk to the old town. And if I flip it, here you can see. So basically this is all the old town. A lot of it's walking area. And we're gonna go discover it tonight and show you the whole tour tomorrow. Here we go. This is entering into the port area and the downtown split. So the whole promenade here has all these little boutique type shops where they're selling souvenirs and then there's restaurants all along the whole way. And where we're staying is literally just a short little distance walk to this whole beautiful port area. So it's just best positioning ever. I don't know if you can see, but the detail up there is just beautiful in the stonework. So we're about to go find a really yummy place to go eat dinner in the old town. This is so cool. It's like going back hundreds and hundreds of years into the old town. I don't remember this city being so beautiful. I don't know how I don't remember this, but Look at this, it's just the architecture here. It's phenomenal. I think I might yeah. want to move here. Oh, you want to move here? I wonder who built this city. Was it the Venetians? Yeah. So we found where we're going to have dinner tonight. It's a beautiful place here in the old town and it's called Portofino. The setting here is absolutely gorgeous. They make all the salads right here in front of you. So for dessert, we got pure chocolate. It has all these different flavors of chocolate. Then we got a strawberry cream neo classic. This is frozen strawberry foam over white chocolate, strawberry ice cream, marshmallow, white chocolate, mm, and some beautiful flowers. And then this is a typical dessert here called rosetta. It's caramel 
cream caramel with ginger toffee, creamy ice cream from goat's milk, pear, strawberry, rose syrup, and uh, lavender sauce or lavender essence. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Always look on the bright side. Always look on the bright side. Always look on the bright side of the We came back to super comfy beds and had a great night's sleep. Julia's making some delicious coffee. <clears throat> I've made myself one here. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm just looking to book the ferries. So when you want to go to any of the islands, there's a website here. Dradolinina. So here we go. We're going to see how it works. It's always really nice to have your own kitchen because then you can basically have everything. So. Just so you guys know, so I'm looking up the pricing here for the ferry, and um, there's three that, that go per day. So there's two ferries at 11 and three in the afternoon. Now these times probably will change, so don't take my word for granted. Go to their website to check. And the pricing, I think it makes more sense just to bring your vehicle if you have a vehicle, because the island's still big enough that you wanna tour around and see some of the different things. Um, the pricing is about, uh, $60 or so to bring the car and that's including all of us and I would suggest booking it in advance in case it gets full All right off we go today to go visit the old town split Here's a great map. This is Split, and tomorrow we head to Vis. Hopefully we'll be able to get around because this is where they filmed Mamma Mia 2. Over in a distance is Margin Park, and you can hike all the way up there. And on the other side, there's this beautiful beach and cafes and restaurants, and you get a, the most amazing sunset views. This is a reconstruction of their palace, what it was like. So the whole city is around it, and this is what it's like today. So you can still see here where the palace is. And right outside where we just showed you is right here, is basically the center of the palace. And the same family gets, get this. Like, if you can imagine, the same family still lives in the palace. So they're still here in existence after that many years. That's unreal. You guys, like, isn't that crazy? It'd be like what our family. I'm not listening. What is it? Well, it'd be like our family existing for 2,000 years, like the lineage, and they still live in the same palace. That's a bit. Isn't that wild? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right now, we are just above where the market is. This is really cool. So this square here that we showed you last night, it just has such a magical feel to it. It's probably the nicest square in the whole world. If not, definitely Croatian's nicest square. 
So here's some fun facts about this square. So basically it's called the Cathedral of St. Dominis. At the time, um, it wasn't built as a church though. It was built as a tombstone for the emperor. And this emperor was known as the son of Jupiter. So he persecuted the Christians. They had to escape. A lot of them went to the islands. Some were murdered. Um, and one of them, St. Dominis, was a martyr. And a few hundred years after this man had died, they basically came back, the Christians started coming back, and they removed his uh, remains, which was like an Egyptian kind of um, remains, and they put St. Dominique and his place and uh, built it as a cathedral. So the name of this square here is Peristil Square. There are loads and loads of churches and cathedrals in this city of Split. This here is the Temple of Jupiter, and right now it is changed into the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. And basically at the, around, the, around the same time that the emperor had left and the Christians came back, well, the same thing happened here. So the Christians came back and took this over and transformed the Temple of Jupiter into the church of St. John the Baptist. And these Sphinx here, this is one that's in pretty good shape. A lot of them that they found out of the 13 are not intact. So this one's still pretty intact, as well as the other one that you just saw in Peristil Square. Okay, so for those of you who are into Marvel or Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit or Harry Potter or Star Wars or any of these Game of Thrones type of stores. Stranger Things. Stranger Things. This store has it all. So right here in downtown Split in the Jewish Quarter, we found a nice place to come and have lunch and it's called Ouye oil bar and ouye in Croatian actually means oil. Look at this, they serve all the different oils. I'm sure they're all from the local area too. That's really cool. Okay, I'm going to explain to you everything we got. So the first dish here is fish and it has onions sauteed with red wine vinegar and honey. Then we have some fish, kind of like a pizza. There's tomato sauce in there, capres, and uh, looks delicious. Some olive oils, black and green tomatoes. Here we have prosciutto, some goat cheese, and cow, and then fig. And he said if you mix it with pepper, it's absolutely delicious. And then over here we have pumpkin with goat cheese on top like a bruschetta and then prawns in an olive oil and lemon sauce. Some of the oils that we blended here were actually sitting in barrels for three years just like a winemaking process and it was so amazing. Even the salt they used was hand-picked at a certain time of day to make it that much extra special. Oh, mm, that's really good. <laughs> Even their ice cream is served with olive oil. So if you like olive oil, it actually has a really nice flavor to it. I promised Angelique mango ice cream, and so here we go. Tutti Fruity ice cream. Yeah. Tutti Fruity. Oh, Rudy. Oh, Rudy. tower and go get some magnificent views. The price to go up is about four to five euros or dollars. So this whole indoor market, you can find everything for souvenirs, jewelry, and your 
basically in the underground area of the palace. Tonight we decided to come to this restaurant called Movi. Apparently they have the most delicious pizza, so we're gonna go find out. You can never go wrong with authentic Italian pizza. Us from the area. Is it good? We got some yummy Caesar salads. Just always delicious. Yeah.